Hi guys, in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the invite codes feature from ProfilePress. First, we'll need to install the add-on. So we'll go to ProfilePress, then add-ons, and we'll go ahead and turn on invite codes. We'll just activate it. And once that's done, we'll go over to the left-hand side and click on settings. Then click on the invite codes tab at the top. We have no codes yet, so we'll click on add invite code. And now in the first field, we can go ahead and type in our codes. We can only have one per line. So for this example, I'll just go ahead and um, copy this. I'll paste it on the next line and I'll just go ahead and switch it up a bit. All right, so right now we have two invite codes and we can move down to usage limit. And this is basically the number of times a code can be used. So let's make this three. Now for the expiration date, we can make this expire on the 17th. And finally, we need to select the membership plan that users will be subscribed to if they use the invite codes. Once we're done, we'll save our changes. And by the way, you can find detailed tutorials on how to configure membership plans in the description down below. All right, so at the moment we have two different invite codes. And if you wanna copy all of your codes at once, you can just click on the code list tab at the top. So just imagine you had a bunch of codes and you wanted to copy all at once. You could simply highlight all of them and copy and paste them wherever you want. Now, if we take a look at the top, we'll see an auto generate codes tab. And there you can generate codes automatically simply by entering a prefix such as this. I'm just entering pro M as well as a quantity. So let's say we wanted to generate 25. We'll just type in 25 in this field. We'll need to set our usage limit. We can make this about two for this example. The expiration date could be the end of October. And for the membership plan, we can use pro user. Now we can click on generate codes. All right, so here we have the invite codes that we just generated. We already had two, but now we've added 25 more. Now, before we go ahead and test this, we need to create a registration form that accepts invite codes. So we'll go to the left and open forms and profiles in a new tab. Next, we're gonna go to registration, then default registration. And now we'll see a list of fields that we can use to customize our registration form. And of course, you can find a detailed tutorial on forms in the description. Let's drag the invite code from standard fields to our list. And at this point, we can go ahead and rearrange the fields as we see fit. We'll go ahead and save our changes since we're done configuring the form. All right, so we just used the drag and drop builder. Now I'll show you how to do this with the shortcode builder. So we'll go ahead and give our form a name. We'll go to registration, select any template. And for this one, we can see all of the different shortcodes for each field. If we click available shortcodes, we can use the search box to find invite codes, then click on select. Now, if you want, you can add a placeholder and maybe a CSS class if you're going to style the field. In my case, I'll skip the CSS class. If we click on copy to clipboard, we'll see our shortcode with the placeholder parameter. To add your field, just paste your shortcode on a new line. If the code looks like this, just press tab at the beginning to align it with the others. All right, now you can go to the CSS tab and if you assign the class to your field, you would be able to customize it in this area. And if you go ahead and take a look on the right hand side, you'll see a preview of your invite code field. And right now, all you would need to do is save your settings. All right, so back at our invite codes page, again, this is where we can see all of our invite codes. I'll click on the code list tab and I'm gonna copy a random code. I'll use the third one. Now I'm gonna open a registration page in a new incognito window to show you how this works. I'll just quickly fill out this form. Let's paste the invite code and let's click on register. All right, so we're now logged in. If we click on profile, we'll be taken to the my account page. And if we click on the subscription tab, we can now confirm that we have been subscribed to the pro membership plan. All right, so this is how you set up the invite codes add-on from ProfilePress. Thanks for watching and see you next time.